टूडे अवर एक्सपेरिमेंट इज टू टेस्ट डायोड डायोड कैन बी टेस्टेड यूजिंग डिजिटल मल्टीमीटर और एनालॉग मल्टीमीटर इन टूडेज एक्सपेरिमेंट वी विल लर्न हाउ टू टेस्ट डायोड यूजिंग एनालॉग मल्टीमीटर वी विल मेजर इट्स रेजिस्टेंस इन फॉरवर्ड बायस एंड इन रिवर्स बायस एम ऑफ टूडेज एक्सपेरिमेंट is to test diode using analog multimeter to test this we need diodes we will take pn junction diode and zener diode also we need multimeter analog multimeter and for connections we need connecting wires now we will test diode using analog multimeter to test diode using analog multimeter we are going to measure its resistance its resistance in forward bias and in reverse bias also if its resistance in forward bias is low and in reverse bias if resistance is very very high or we can say infinity that means the diode is in good working condition otherwise diode is not in good working condition we cannot use this diode in the circuit again i'll repeat in forward bias the resistance will be low it will be more than 15 ohm but generally you will find resistance around 100 ohm around i am not talking about the exact value around 100 in forward bias but in reverse bias resistance is very high that means in reverse bias current cannot flow right so now we will connect this diode in forward bias first and then we will connect in reverse bias but first very important thing in connection with this analog we know that we have to connect always one wire with this com you can see here com and here we are going to measure resistance that means another wire will be connected with this red socket red socket but whenever you are going to measure resistance you have to consider this com as a positive terminal right so what we will do we will connect red wire with this com so we can understand this one is positive you have to insert this wire properly inside this okay and we will connect black with this why i am doing this generally red represents positive and black means negative so i am connecting this with com again i'll tell you for resistance measurement com is positive and this red is negative okay only for resistance measurement that means in this course we will use this thing this technique for diode testing and transistor testing also so again this one is positive this one is positive this one is negative so now for forward bias we have to connect first i'll connect this second one okay i'll connect this with this in forward bias but if you remember the experiment of resistance measurement chapter 2 what we did first we have shorted this wire we have connected this two wires with each with each other why to connect like this to adjust zero zero adjustment is very important in analog multimeter it is not required in uh, digital multimeter so i'll switch on this right i'll turn this adjust this knob to resistance mode ohm mode here look at this i am taking multiply at 10 because resistance is around 100 now i have shorted this two wires now for this it must be exactly on zero if it is not then you have to adjust this zero using this button okay here you can see it is written here i will focus now so you can see properly it is written here 
so we will adjust this zero here so first you have to adjust this zero exactly on zero after that you can measure resistance properly correctly so now i am connecting p with positive of this this com is now positive right how do you know which one is p and which one is n in this diode we learned this in diode testing using digital also or i'll show you again in this picture you can see there is a band this band is n of diode so this is n side this is p again i'll connect in forward what is forward bias connection forward bias means positive of this is connected with p so i am connecting this with this diode here with p and negative with n okay now this is forward bias now i am getting some reading here okay i'll magnify this so you can see the reading or you can check the reading here now you can see this reading is around 5.5 so i will write this reading 5.5 in forward bias 5.5 but you don't have to forget about the multiplier what is the multiplier we have chosen look 10 so what is the reading what is the resistance of this in forward bias it's not only 5.5 but it is 5.5 multiply by 10 so i will write this reading in forward bias so here in observation table i am writing this reading in forward bias that is 5.5 multiply by 10 or 55 ohm you can write directly so this is my forward bias reading reading now i am going to take another reading for reverse bias what is reverse bias we have to connect p with negative this is my negative so i'm connecting this on this side so i'm interchanging these two connections now i have connected positive with n of diode and negative with p of diode and now we will check reading in this multimeter you can see what is the reading this reading is very high or oh, look at this it's infinity so we will write this reading in reverse bias so my reverse bias reading is infinity if it is very high we can write infinity so now i am writing this reading here in reverse bias that is infinity if for one minute if forward bias reading is low resistance right if it is more than 15 15 okay up to 100 or sometimes 150 and in reverse bias if your reading is very high means infinity that means this diode is in good working condition in conclusion in result you can write like this okay then we can repeat this process for another diodes right if you want to check you can check i'll take this orange color diode i'm taking sometimes you will be given three diodes sometimes two okay so you can connect even if you don't know is it forward bias or reverse bias don't worry about that just check the reading if for this connection if you are getting reading infinity that means this reading is for reverse bias now i will interchange this connection in reverse bias i got infinity now i am interchanging this connection okay what we will get some reading means lower value low resistance now you can see here i'll show you i'll focus it again so you can see properly if i magnify this now the reading is around 6.5 okay do you remember now how to take reading in analog multimeter or you can watch the video of resistance measurement using analog multimeter 
so here value of one division between five and ten is point five so this reading is six point five but again i'll remind you about this multiplier what is this multiplier ten so this reading for another diode is 6.5 multiply by 10 so you can write directly 65 also no problem for that so i'll write this reading for second diode okay 6.5 multiply by 10 i am writing separately multiply by 10 so you can understand and you will not forget to multiply and in reverse bias we got this okay it's not like that always uh, you have to take forward bias first or reverse bias second it's not like that you have to just check you have to take always two readings for a diode okay one diode two readings one forward bias another reverse bias again what is forward bias positive is connected with p now what to write in diode type okay generally diode codes are not given but here diode types uh, are given simple diode type is pn junction diode right in our lab we have another type is zener diode it can be given to you for testing okay in our lab this orange color diode is zener diode so first we have taken this this one is pn junction this one is pn junction diode i'll show you again this one is pn junction and this one is zener so in observation table also you can write the type here pn junction and here we will write zener okay unlike digital here from the value of resistance we can't say anything about the semiconductor material used to make this diode. That means silicon is used or germanium is used to make this diode. We can't say anything from this resistance. Right? But in digital, if you remember, we have measured voltage. We have selected, I'll show you. We have selected this mode diode mode or we can call it d mode or d position we have selected this right and we have measured voltage from voltage we can say that is it means made up of uh, silicon or germanium but here from resistance we can't say anything about this but we can say that this diode is good in uh, means good working condition or not if you are getting again i am repeating the same thing if you are getting low resistance in forward bias and very high resistance in reverse bias that means this diode is in good working condition so this is diode testing using analog multimeter